So, glass. So fly back out to our asset. Now let's go work on this glass. This won't be very difficult. Uh, we're gonna start with a constraints for, actually not constraints from rules, we wanna do an RBD fracture. We need to break this apart first. So drop that down. Before we even connect it, I'm gonna say, change this to glass. Uh, turn on namespace, just call it glass. It'll be like metal before. Now all these pieces will be called glass something. Turn on fracture per piece using the name attribute. You know, each one of these islands of glass has a different name because that's what we did over here. And then there you go. And we have some glass. Just as before, RBD exploded view. There it is. Uh, we do have some constraints that were auto made here. And you know what? We're going to use them this time. Good enough. So that's pretty much that. We can now do an RBD uh, properties. I'm not, I don't need to do any you know, specific constraint group stuff because these are the only constraints in town right now. Uh, it's glue. I feel like I pressed something by accident. There we go, I clicked that. Uh, let's make this glass really fragile. Let's just go to zero, whatever. I want the glass to break, so make it zero. Zero does not literally mean it's broken already. It just means the slightest like uh, impact will, will cause it to break. So RBD, skip right to RBD config. And uh, we don't really need to do anything here. They just, just needed to turn them into the, the pack pieces that we wanted. I'm also gonna say it would be nice to maybe colorize this, give it a blue color. We, this is not, this is not gonna actually impact rendering, but it'll help us look at it as we simulate it. Um, we're gonna pack them back together again, like so. Goodbye blue. It'll come back when we unpack it back out by the sim. But first, so we've got this packed. We've got this packed. Now our asset's not gonna just be metal anymore. Now we need to merge these two guys together. Now our asset is the glass plus the metal, right? But the glass is just kind of here. It's not really attached to anything. It's, the glass is attached to itself, the metal is attached to itself and to the thing in the back. But it's not really, uh, the metal is not attached to the glass though, is what I'm trying to say. So we need to do some stuff where we unpack this again and we're gonna, just getting ahead of it, we're gonna pack it again as well. Now that we're unpacked, who eh, comes back? Now we can do some stuff. We basically just need to make more constraints. This time between the glass and the metal. So let's do exactly that. Let us do RBD rules. Ah, uh, I didn't do it right. There you go. Precious seconds lost. Oh no! I was afraid that was gonna happen. And we're back. You know, even Houdini can crash sometimes. As great as it is, every so often, occasional crash is a small price to pay. So we're back. Um, what were we doing? We were gonna make constraints between the glass and the metal. So select it, RBD rules, shift enter. Now, you know, it's just constraining everything to everything right now. What we wanna do is do a group to group. Now with the group to group, I can say take the glass, so the name equals glass star, to name equals metal star. And there you go. You can see all the constrained pieces are right around the glass area here. Uh, we also want to name this, we'll call this glass oops, to metal. Something like that. Good enough. Let's make this be RBD properties. Ah, I didn't do it right. So disappointing every time I forget to do it. This one will be on that glass to metal. And so we're just gonna set the strength here. I'm gonna say 100. I want it to have a little bit of strength, like the glass is like, you know, wedged into the frame. Uh, so it kind of has some support by the thing that it's stuck into, but it's still kind of weak. Um, but that's pretty much it. So 
that's it. That's all we had to do. We just had to bring the two ideas together of the metal with the glass. And all we got to do is look at it now. We just fly back over to, to the sim. Move our display back to the sim itself. Should have made a camera probably to do this from, but anyway. So I'm gonna do one of these and let's see what we got. And there's a result. Kablam. So you can see most of the glass breaks out. Still pieces of it in here, which is nice to see in the stuck in the frames. On the other side, looks like there's more too. I guess it's the same on this side. Um, yeah, there you go. We got metal, we got glass. Cool. We got uh, our cache here. Uh, we can click save the cache or save the disk. It'll just, it's already in memory here. The actual DOP network is the blue line here. So just clicking save the disk won't rerun the sim unless you want it to, which is uh, something else somewhere. Uh, initialize sim ops. If this is off, then it won't re sim it. So you can prove that to ourselves. There it is. Now, when we set this whole thing up here, it was in terms of just the metal. So let's make sure it remains that way. Now that we also have glass. So I'll say name equals metal, delete non-selected. That way we are isolating. Oh, we got to choose points here because they're still packed pieces at that point. So there we go. So we still have that. Over here, we'll do the same thing, but for glass. So we'll need to export these as two different kinds of vertex animation textures. There's soft bodies here. So for you know deforming meshes. Kind of hops into the air now a little bit. It's kind of funny. Um, and then over here will be rigid bodies. So these are actually not going to get unpacked. These are going to stay as packed pieces. So I'm going to put a null here. Let's say this is out. Uh, glass. Out oh, metal out glass. Awesome. So now add to actually do the the vat stuff. Vertex animation. Vertex animation texture, aka vats. <laughs>